Hey everybody, how's it going? So I got a quick unboxing to do or unbagging to do. Uh, this is a bag from OEM Parts Toyota and it's also, it's from a parts dealer in uh, a Toyota dealership in Ohio. Uh, please stick around, check out the video and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, so this is a um, item I picked up for the limited Forerunner that I just picked up. It's from Dawnwood Toyota in Athens, Ohio. It is OEM Parts, um, uh, Toyota Parts. I think it says OEM Parts Quick. Yeah, OEM Parts Quick, which is a, it's a. It's a large website that, that will get you parts from most Toyota dealers if you're looking for Toyota parts. Um, so this should be should be the rear license plate assembly lights um, because I noticed that there was screws missing um, and there was no covers on it when I picked it up and you know I, I picked up a used 4x4 I'm not going to complain that it's missing something that's you know there's no point to complain about something that stupid it's just easier to pick it up this was like $20 like 22 bucks um, so here it is a lamp assembly license 81270-35120 this is a genuine Toyota and Lexus part uh, made in Japan um, and both forerunners that I have are made in Japan Let's see if I can peel this all right kind of try to put this sticker on the top a little bit so that way it doesn't get ripped up so I know what it is okay so they're on the photo, it looked like these were, um, it looked like they were, uh, tinted. They're not. They are clear, which is fine. Um, they do have the actual screws. They do actually have bulbs in them, too. Um, they actually look brand new. Um, which is nice. I'm going to end up taking the bulbs out, but these are factory. Um, I All I got to do is unplug this harness on the truck, pull the old ones out, put the new ones in, clip this back into the, the spot that it sits, and they are done. Um, the seals, these plastic covers are missing on the truck, as well as this rubber seal right here is gone too. The sandwiching seal is also gone. That's why I picked them up, and it was, you know, 22 bucks is, you know, not really that bad at all. It does have the receipt. 22 32 it was $14 in shipping, so it was 36 86 total. I, I, I can't even go to a junkyard and probably find these, um, because there's very rare, it, there's very little junkyards in Arizona that actually have Forerunners, and whatever... Uh, junkyards do have forerunners in my state. They literally have been completely stripped already of any electrical item. So I didn't even bother to go look or call junkyards. I just picked them up. Um, they're very nice condition. Say Toyota 26 31 Japan Kanto 88. SAEL95 dot e, uh, dot E13 Japan Europe 5 or W5 watt 12 volt 5 watt um, and I will be putting LEDs in it uh, which is I 
Where'd they go? Oh, I think they're over there. Hold on a second, guys. I have a ton of Zevo bulbs in my SR5. I really love the Sylvania Zevo bulbs. Um, they are worth every penny. Um, I have every version of these bulbs in the SR5 for the the, the bl front blinkers, rear blinkers, rear brake lights, uh, rear reverse lights, turn signals in the uh, or um, the third brake light in the top. I have them in the interior. These are great bulbs. And I have um, all the the housings in my SR5 are are um, extra house. They're they're not original housings, um, but they even the original housings the the housings are tinted. They're monographic housings, um, and the housings are uh, they're tinted on the inside. So you can use white bulbs in a housing that has orange tinted lenses um, for the turn signals because it's going to look orange anyways. So I always buy these in the 6, 6000K. Um, it doesn't look blue to me. It, they actually look uh, like a pure white. But these bulbs are for these housings. Um, they are 194 bulbs. And I can get you guys a list because um, I keep these containers I mean, I usually put the old bulbs that weren't broken in them. Like these bulbs are probably not broken, so I'm going to take these out. I'm more likely going to put them in this container. Um, that way I have them available, knowing, hey, these go to this. I usually write on these. But um, that's all I picked up. I picked up some housings. You know, it's pretty easy just to unplug, bolt these guys up, swap them, and you're good to go. Uh, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And um, I'll keep you guys updated. Got lots more things coming in. Um, for both vehicles, not just the limited 4x4, but as well as my wrecked SR5. We're going to be bringing lots of things to the channel. Um, you know, if you guys want to see it, the SR5 parts pulled out and you want to see it worked on, let me know. Uh, if you want to, what you guys would like to see, would you like to see, you know, um, body, uh, body work? Um, I was looking for an entire body. Um, because it'd just be easier to drop a body on it than it would be to hammer everything else out. But um, if I have no choice, I can do the body work and hammer it out. Um, but I uh, do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!